MIT Data Science Academy. Today we're going to introduce you to um, Python installation and the IPython notebook. Right. So to start this, we're going to need to download Python, and we recommend doing this with the Anaconda distribution. Now, Anaconda is a distribution of Python. It comes with Python. It comes with a number of useful packages for data analysis, mathematics, science, uh, scientific computing, uh, numerical computing, data visualization. But perhaps most importantly, it comes with the uh, Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, Jupyter Notebooks are extremely useful um, for teaching, but also for interacting with uh, Python code. So first we're going to open up uh, our browser window and just type into Google Anaconda Python. Enter. And go to www.continuum.io. Right. So on this page we're going to go to Anaconda and then to download. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to click OS X. And we recommend downloading the Python 2.7 version of Anaconda. So all you have to do is click Mac OS X, 64-bit graphical installer, and choose your destination. It'll download. It'll take a few minutes. Um, I already have it installed, so I'm going to skip over this part. Once you have it downloaded, follow these instructions. Just double click the uh, PKG file and just follow the instructions. Okay. So once we have Anaconda installed, we should have a version of Python and all of the packages that it came with. The last thing we need to do is install uh, Jupyter and Jupyter Notebooks. So to do this, we're going to press Command Space, open up Search, and just type Terminal. And it should open up a window sort of like this, um, sort of a shell-like looking thing. And in there, in a second, we're going to type a command. Now first, I'm going to go to jupyter.org. Right. It has a little bit of an explanation on what Jupyter Notebooks are. We'll go over that. And just click Install. And since we already have Python at this point, after downloading Anaconda, you're just going to click Installing Jupyter. I already have Python. You can read um, the instructions. So open up this, this terminal window again, and we're going to type these in this command. Conda install Jupyter. Conda install Jupyter. Press enter. And you should see some, some text on the screen. You're probably going to see a little bit more than, than I do since I already have the requested packages installed. Right, so now we should have Anaconda and Jupyter installed. We can go into IPython notebooks. In case you wanted to know if you actually succeeded in installing Python, in this terminal, type Python. You should see something similar to this. Python 2.7.11, the, the version of Python that we're running, the distribution, Anaconda 2.3, some other text. All right, and what we're in here now is an interactive Python shell where we can type Python commands. So for instance, I want you to do this along with me, print, quote, hello world, closing single quote, quote, you should see something like that. So we've executed a, a Python command in this sort of interactive uh, shell. Now to exit, we can type quit, open parentheses, close parentheses, and we get back, uh, we get out of this, this Python interactive mode. Right, so that's basically uh, the rundown on the installation. So we should have the environment set up. Okay. As I mentioned before, one of the useful things about this distribution of Python with Jupyter is that it comes with these Jupyter notebooks. So I wanted to want to show you now uh, what those are, how to use them, because that will be sort of the basis of. Uh, you're learning Python later, right? So there are two ways to open a Jupyter Notebook. One of them is as follows. So we've got our open 
terminal here. All we need to do is type Jupyter Notebook. Press enter. You should see something like this. Okay. Now, one thing to note is that uh, when I click New Python 2 Notebook, and this will create a new Jupyter Notebook, um, when I do that, it creates the notebook in the directory that I opened, that I typed Jupyter Notebook in. So if you want to um, save your notebook in a different location, you can use uh, commands like cd for change directory, navigate to uh, the directory that you want to save your, your notebook in, and then run uh, Jupyter Notebook. So this is one way to, to open up a Jupyter Notebook. Another way is as follows. We can use uh, sort of a graphical user interface that comes with the Anaconda download. Um, I have it here on my on my, uh, my dock here, but you can find it by pressing command space again and just type in launcher. Okay. And it should be the one that's got a little picture of something resembling an Anaconda. Okay. If you press enter, it should bring up a window like this. Takes a, a second to load. Okay, you should see something like this. Now here it says notebook, Jupyter notebook, click launch. And you see it sort of automates what we did before. So here we're at this screen. I'm gonna create a new IPython notebook. So we go over to new Python 2. You should see something like this. So local host, 8889, notebook, blah, blah, blah. It's saying that it's running um, on our local computer. Okay, so this is a Jupyter notebook. First thing we want to do, we're going to rename it. So let's call this test one. Okay, so this is a Jupyter notebook. In it, we have little cells like this where you can enter Python code. So we can enter. same command that we ran in the interactive shell and you can run these cells by clicking run cell and it prints the result of that cell right below the cell so print hello world it prints hello world right below right below this cell okay so now I want to run through maybe uh, a few features of this of this interface um, just real quick uh, one of them is save and checkpoint. You can save your notebook, right? Add cell below, insert cell below does exactly what it says. It inserts a new cell below. You can cut cells, copy cells, paste cells, you can move cells around up and down. Um, if a cell is taking too long to run, or maybe you've noticed that you've got some buggy code or something like that, you can interrupt the kernel and that just says stop doing what the cell is doing. Um, and you can restart the, the kernel. And under file, you create a new notebook, you can open a, a, a previously saved notebook, you can make a copy of one, you can rename, save, is, uh, save your notebook revert to checkpoints, so you can revert to previously saved versions, print preview, and download as. So you can actually download the IPython notebook in this exact format. You can download it as a Python script. Um, you can download it in HTML, Markdown, or if you want to share it with people as like a report, you could save it as a PDF document. So that's really nice. So under edit, it's got m many of the same uh, commands that are on this, this toolbar, cut, copy, you can delete cells from here, merge two cells, move cells around. Right. Under view, you can toggle the header in the toolbar. Now, this thing right here is the, the toolbar. This is the header. 
not really um, any reason to uh, hide those things. You can insert cell above and below. You can insert a cell above the, the currently selected cell. Yep. And then under cell, these are pretty self-explanatory. You can run all of the cells. You can run cells, uh, uh, you know, above or below the, the, the selected cell. And then you can change cell type. And we'll get into that in a second. Right. Now, one thing that's useful is this help. You can open up a number of uh, uh, a number of help documents through the through the notebook. And another useful resource is, uh, is the following. So go to Google and type manual Jupyter notebook. And it should be the first one, uh, the first result. So Jupyter notebook user manual. You can go here. And this is a really extensive overview of all the things you can do in, uh, in Jupyter notebooks. So I highly recommend that if you care to learn more about uh, Jupyter Notebooks and their capabilities. Right, so let's go back to our, our notebook. And sort of the last part of this is I want to uh, run through a few um, shortcuts in the notebook. Right? So one, one, uh, one shortcut that you're going to use a lot um, is instead of when I want to run a cell, instead of pressing this little play button, this thing that looks like play, run cell, you can do shift plus enter runs the selected cell. So pressing shift, then enter, runs the contents of the cell. Okay. Uh, secondly, I know we haven't really uh, covered this kind of stuff, but I'm going to create a list. Okay. And I'm going to press L period and then tab. Or rather, uh, shift enter L. L period tab. And it brings up this little pop, this pop-up menu, and it's got a number of different methods that you can apply to this object. Now I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, but um, later you, you know, you'll realize how useful this is. Uh, these are the sort of functions that I can apply to this particular kind of object. Okay. So. Next is uh, shift tab. So you can press shift and tab shows a pop up for doc streams. So again, that might not make a lot of sense now, but uh, shift tab brings up this little thing. It, has uh, sort of a description of the object. If it were a more interesting object, the doc string part would show some uh, more sort of high level description of the object. So that can be useful. Um, second, um, next is another help, uh, useful help feature. You can type just help and then in parentheses, the, the object or name of the function that you're trying to do. And it brings up this, this window that's, uh, that describes the, the object that you're calling help on, all of these methods that you can, can call to it or that it can call. So that's a useful thing. The documentation is built right into the, the uh, Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to delete 
contents of the cell, press shift enter, clears the um, uh, the message that was returned by running it previously. Right now, uh, sort of the last thing is the type of cell. Now, right now, this this uh, this cell is um, in code mode, so I'm typing, you know, I'm typing Python code into here and it's executing it. I can change the, the type of cell by going up to here, this little menu where it says code and bring down and I could choose something like markdown. Now markdown is really just a way to write normal text does not run as code. If I press shift enter now, it just shows sort of normal text and it doesn't run it as, as code. Now Markdown also supports uh, some HTML tags and stuff like that so you can make it more, um, you know, more customizable than just plain text. And that should just about do it for this introduction. Hopefully you're uh, all set up with Python and Jupyter Notebooks and uh, there begins sort of your personal path uh, to learning more about Python. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.